like one ago. And we're back with another episode with the one and only Gregor. Hey. Welcome to the show, Gregor. It's been a while. Have yeah, you been on since we did a uh, video? Yes, one time. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it was sure. when we were talking about my dad's schedule. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, remember, yeah. Like, uh, militant lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. It's nice. I'm glad you, uh, you brought out your legs for this episode. Yeah, and Cern was, I always like coming over here because he makes me feel like I'm jacked and like, like you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but like, do you see that? Is it's that funny. why you, you're wearing shorts? Because you're feeling your legs? I mean, definitely. I didn't really know I was feeling them until I saw them in the mirror at wrestling today. And I was like, wow, man, I was really that shoveling yesterday. And, and I mentioned it. I, I was 100% stronger today. Like, remember the comment I mentioned yeah. before? I was like, I was the strongest I've been in a long time today. Because of shoveling. Well, you, you shoveled yesterday for how long? Five hours. No, right? no five. I went back. Yeah. I yeah seven, seven hours. Eight hours, probably. Eight yeah. hours. Yep. So we were saying yesterday that, like, well, you know why he did that today? Mm-hmm. Like, because he didn't go hiking. So you wanted to do some other like ridiculously hard thing in the cold. In my gear. Right? Yeah, well, in my gear. So that was your hiking yesterday. Yeah, and you know what I was actually a little bit upset about? I was talking to a kid at the gym. Uh, this kid, Dom, is like, yo, man, I saw you shoveled a lot, bro. Why didn't you hit me up for some help? Like, help? <laughs> I would have told you to get away from me if you tried to help. What, what do you mean? I was like, that's my workout, bro. That it's something other than getting on the elliptical and hitting myths and going to jujitsu. And I was like, Yo, it sounds kind of crazy, but I really was kind of hoping that I couldn't get my car out. So I would have to snowshoe there. Mm. Like I would have loved to run <laughs> to Belmore in my snowshoe. But when you say run, like haul ass in yeah, my yeah. snowshoes and then shoveled. So, so why you just like those long workouts? Yeah. Like are I you mean, pushing yourself like sprinting like oh i'm trying to get it done as quickly dude, as possible or you're chipping dude, away no let me tell you <laughs> so like a hundred percent incredibly surprised that no one called the cops on me because of how hard you're ah, <laughs> fuck <laughs> ah, one more. talking to myself one more <laughs> you can do it again one more don't be a bitch one Stop more it. you said don't be a bitch yeah you pussy ah and you're just soaking wet with sweat. Dude, Probably like, I had, are you saying it off your face? A hundred percent. Like my shirt, I told you, I literally dressed like I was going on a hike. And when you hike, you yeah. are comfortably cold. Yo, it was 15 degrees. Well, and shit. the wind yesterday was it insane. Was People don't cold. know. I mean, if you don't live on Long Island, I mean, it was the worst weather I've ever seen on Long Island. Well, no one could shovel the worst until weather, it stopped weather. because the wind was just I blowing. Didn't, I didn't yeah, shovel not one thing yesterday. Yeah, no I, one on our street did. No one did because it was course. just blistering. Well, then unless today you, I got up and no I kids were spent outside hours playing in the snow it. yesterday. Well, well, unless I was doing it for a workout, I put my ski right. goggles on. Um, you need them for sure. Have to, well, especially because yeah. like the stuff on Belmore's roof was flying off, and like if you were facing, e- I'm sorry, west and shoveling, you were, were getting blasted. Aside in the from face. plows, were there even cars going down the road? Very few. Really? But what a fucking and that's case. a busy yep. road. Hold on, there were some people out, and who were they? They were not in cars. This know. is come on on snow days. Who comes out? Well, like the kids that want to shovel. No, That's like you're on a busy road. Did oh, you? people getting beers. At you go to 7-Eleven mm-hmm. and get a case was, of beer. I yeah. videoed them and sent it to Christina. She's like, wait, yeah. what? I was like, no, no, no. The only people you're going to see out today are plows and guys walking to 7-Eleven. It's yeah, a party yeah. day. It's yeah. Party day. Well, that's one thing that you did amazing. Because we knew that uh, all week you kept hearing what a terrible storm was going to be. She like stocked the house perfectly. Mm-hmm. We had like, we didn't, we had everything you could possibly want. Yesterday. And listen, what, what options do you want for meals? It was yeah. like, you're hungry. What do you want? I got this. I got this. I got the options Smart. of fun foods, fun treats. And mm-hmm. it was like a, a real pleasure yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, crazy uh, storm. You guys introduced me to something yesterday that I, uh, I'm a one. I just checked my GPS. Did Trader Joe's. Merrick. Yeah, yeah, and Whole Foods. Yeah, I'm getting oh, that. Whole Foods. I'm getting that. No, 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 that's no, Trader, Joe's. Trader Joe's. Oh God, I checked the yeah, wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go to Merrick. That's yeah. far Fuck. for you. But that Naki is pretty yeah. good, right? Yeah, I said it was like a like a legit Italian restaurant meal. It yeah, was actually it's definitely got it. good. Yeah, super good. Um, so we'll get into a bunch of different things today, but the only real fight talk this weekend was a big mm. um. The debut of Eagle FC. Well, if that was a debut Khabib's. in America, right? uh, in America, yeah, it was Eagle FC forty four. Mm. 
Oh, so, wow. I yeah, didn't saw that too. There's that. a number. Yeah. I realized like, oh, this is only the first one here. It's the first one in America, but now I guess this is the new like home, mm-hmm. I suppose. Oh. Miami. Um, I watched it, not the whole thing, but mm-hmm. I watched a good, good bit of it. And for one, like the production was definitely pretty good. It felt kind of like, like uh, it wasn't nearly as good as the UFC, but it was definitely better than Bellator. It reminded me sort of like PFL, hmm. but they add Chael Sonnen. As a commentator? Yeah. Henry wow. Cejudo. Kamar Usman. Kamar Usman That's and incredible. Khabib. So like their broadcasters or people talking about the fight, it was, it, if Chael Sonnen's attached to it, it's like really, really He's good. He's amazing. He's, He's just so yeah. entertaining and smart and engaging, funny. He's... You couldn't have like a better. Sure. I mean, other than Joe Rogan, I think he's the next best person you could. Honestly, have I like him. Anik. I think better than Rogan. Yeah, but Rogan just brings so much other. Agreed. Like, you as, need all the different personalities right. with it, and I think Agreed. that like it's hard for me to be like, "Who's your favorite commentator?" I'm like, I don't know. Then it becomes a who I like personally better. Right. But I think all like the mix of them is what's good. Mm. Yeah. So that was the first thing I noticed before it came. Then the fights they were obviously you know. Well matched fights. There's a lot of like Russians and um, up and coming guys mm. type guys. But then they had you know like a couple like long time veterans like that uh, the heavyweight that beat Tyrone Spong, Kartonov, and uh, Rashad Evans. Saw that. But I think that Eagle FC could make it. Mm. Like be like take a share of MMA. Yeah. Well, you said you're like if there was if there was an option to invest in eagle fc right now you would i would yeah just because uh, i think there's so much money behind them i saw a picture on i think henry's um instagram and right in the picture was like henry khabib ali and mike novogratz wow so i don't know if mike novogratz was just there or if he's somehow like an owner or an investor because if he's attached to it that's that's big big money yeah if he's affiliated in any way he wouldn't do something that was going to fail well well, of course and like why would he be in a picture if he wasn't i mean i doubt yeah do you think he was just in miami and henry was like hey come to this event i don't think so it didn't look like it to me no chance Mm -mm. and obviously like for those that don't know about Mike Novogratz, he's the guy who puts on the galas for the uh, what's it beat the streets. Yeah, it's just like a hobby. Yeah. It's a hobby. Yeah, dude. But could you imagine on kind of a tangent how much it must cost to rent out that spot in Times Square? No. Oh yeah, that's insane. Dude, I mean, we're that's probably millions just to like book yeah, yeah. that stage. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I, I know, like tickets are expensive too to go. Just well, now go it's like it. a real event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the gala is a legit like red carpet party. Right. Yeah. You know? Well, it was called, I mean, since COVID, I don't think they've done yeah, they one, do but it was uh beat the, beat the streets gala. Yeah. yeah but he, right. yeah, he's one of the people there. But when I saw he was sort of affiliated with Eagle FC, plus mm-hmm. like, I'm sure there's all kinds of like, you know, Russian billionaires and like, sheiks of dubai i'm sure that there's yeah. quite there's a, a backing a lot, lot of money yeah. in it well i mean we yeah. talked about it last night where um like it's probably like the pfl when it comes to the backing mm-hmm. but bigger because it doesn't bigger. get bigger than Khabib. you know yeah. like he is legit celebrity in russia well yeah i mean celebrity like, anywhere right you're right yeah, yeah, yeah. But, he's the same following as conor mcgregor like yeah similar couple there you know, it's a couple very, million, but yeah it's similar i know yeah, a kid from the gym million. when he went to Dagestan to train with them a kid from like South Jersey and he was like with Zabit and he was saying he's like no it's like crazy like this was Zabit like maybe like Hmm. three years two three years ago and just Zabit so I can't imagine what Khabib's like he goes he can't like go in public he goes when he had to use like an ATM had to like pull around the back go through the back of the place he goes because like kids will just storm the car and bang on the like something he's like it's something like you see in a movie like they're like, oh, like if they see him, they'll just like storm him, yeah. run. It's not like someone, a fan just going up. Oh, can I get a picture? Right. They're like, yeah. it, like, we're not going to be able to pull out of the parking like lot type of thing. Street boys in the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was and, saying. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. And, that's, yeah. and that was the beat. So I can't even imagine um, Khabib, the beat. Yeah. yeah. Insane. Yeah, but, but I think that they can make it. I really mm-hmm. do because, I mean, and they have good fighters. They have some sure. really good, like, you know, those kind of obscure fighters they don't really know, but like, Mm. Russians and they, well, there's some impressive fights. Obviously, I didn't see the fight uh, or the card, but was every fight was one of them a Russian? Obviously not um, Diego Sanchez and Kevin Lee, but like every fight besides that was they, half they, of it. Diego Sanchez was not on this. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, on that's right. One. That's a different one. I keep thinking. Yeah, mostly it was there was too. usually yeah. someone. I did. Yeah, they just did like a press conference and a face. I saw that. And that, that threw me off. I kept looking. So I was for the thinking results. they were fighting too. Right. That kept yeah. Throwing me off. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, 
was Pre- mostly okay. I didn't watch every single fight, but mostly. Hmm. Um, well, Who Sean Bunch sh- fought your old teammate, yeah, but he really fought good. um a guy from Uzbekistan who trains in Philly. So I was hmm. kind of interested in that fight. Sean won. Sean won. Yeah, decision. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good fight. Well, who was the main event on that? The main event was Tyrone Spong. Spong, and, uh, the kickboxer? Yeah, yeah. and Sergey, oh. uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Kartanov or something. Huh. But that's a tough fight because like everyone always, for years and years and years, has talked about Tyrone Spong, and he's like one of the best kickboxers ever. Ever. But he fought that Kartanov, who's 34 and 9, and he's like 270 pounds, like 50 pounds heavier. That's a really hard fight for Tyrone Spong. He, Someone he with lose? that, yeah, he got okay. TKO'd, he got Jeez. mounted, and you know, yeah, it was mm, pretty bad, ground and pound. But to fight someone with like people don't understand like that much experience, and he's had maybe like two or three MMA sure. fights. That much experience, and like he was so much bigger than him. yeah. Was like, that's a really wait, hard matchup. On? If they wanted Tyrone to win, they mm. should have gotten like a, just maybe another kickboxer mm, or something, more of a layup kind of fight. That's a hard fight. Someone with over forty Dude. professional fights. You know how tough that guy is. No matter what your record is, if you've Tough. had over 40 fights, that's a, so much time. I was looking at his record, too. He's fought, like, Josh Barnett. He's fought... Real uh, fights. Yeah, uh, Fabricio Verdun. He's mm. fought wow. uh, Alistair Overham. He's the best of the best. Sure. And, uh, you know, that, so that's a tough matchup. But uh, Rashad Evans, he got a unanimous decision. Uh, who was the other guy? A Russian? Um, Gabriel Checo. No, he was actually Brazilian. Okay. So not all of the matchups were... How did he look? Um, it was, it was, you know, a good fight. Mm. Uh, he went for a, like a leg lock and it was, a, I guess he's a good leg locker, okay. but Rashad did a very good job of like turning the right way. And then he ended up in like side control. Then he went to a crucifix huh. and was fucking him up. And I remember back in the day, Rashad had a really good crucifix. I've seen him finish a lot of people like that. Oh shit. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, I don't know a ton about him personally, but he's, uh, I, I've heard pretty into like the psychedelic life now. Is that true? Or is that rumor? I mean, he always talks about it. Sure. I haven't what, talked what to him What was the child saying about calling him for, because you know he's vegetarian now? No, yeah. no, no, he's not. He's, Chal he's, called it a bunch of times. He's yeah. a fruit, fruitarian. Yeah, Chal kept saying, What's he's a fruitarian. He changed like, his diet. He only he's eats like, fruit. But I think he was just. So, but Chal kept saying it. He's oh. like, now something to keep in mind <laughs> is that he's a fruitarian now. <laughs> like, that is not something to keep in mind. <laughs> so right? funny. But it's funny because oh people God. don't know, like, he's joking. They're trying to be funny. Right. Like, Chael's trying to be funny, but he says it's so serious that I feel like yeah. most people are like, oh, why? What's that have to do with anything? Yeah. I'm like, just no, he's apples and oranges. Wait, so hold on a second. I'm a little confused. Is he a fruit? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay, well, so yeah, so Chael says. was saying it. It was a serious comment, but as a joke. I don't know if it was a joke. It's not, she, we thought it was funny. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, real quick though, do you remember what uh, I think you were with me when I was doing that like scrum interview thing? And someone asked me if what I thought about Yancey being a vegetarian. Oh, vegan. yeah. Vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Remember what I said? No, not. What did you say? You're like, then he'll never beat me. Yeah, but I said it like, I didn't mean it. Like, I didn't. I was like, he'll never beat me. I think it might have been Ariel Hawani. Someone asked me, like, all right, so how do you feel that you're fighting a guy who has fought at heavyweight all the way down to. I didn't know he'd fought at heavyweight. And I was like, yeah. wait, he fought at heavyweight? He's like, yeah, I think. Uh, his last, I knew, I was like, his last fight was with that cowboy guy in 170. Uh, I, I don't know how he's going to be at 155. He's like, well, I think he got there by, you know, becoming a vegan or eating. I was like, oh, oh, he's a vegan. Oh, he can't beat me then. You said that? Yeah. And I was like, so like, I didn't mean for it to be funny, but like, how are you going to beat me with no meat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not even making fun of it though. Yeah. I'm being dead serious. Like how on earth could you do that? Yeah, I just you just assume all like you're gonna be so weak. Weak. I've never met a strong vegan. Well, Jake Shields is a vegetarian. It's different, but he eats eggs too. Th- that that's different. Yeah, eggs yeah. are. I mean, there's quite a bit of difference in eating eggs and soybeans. And I yeah, think the you know. the vegetarians that eat eggs like they eat eggs for like every day. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what Ooh, I mean? It's yeah. not like sometimes I eat them. Uh, right, but well, a vegan doesn't eat no, eggs. No, yeah. no. They just eat granola. Yeah. Not even like no animal products, yeah. none, which is insane. He like, you know what's really crazy about that? I don't want to get into this whole like obviously conversation, but like you've heard this before, where like the amount of like product it takes to get the same amount of protein from a plant product mm. is quite so a bit. so much. They're like but beans you, have a lot of protein. Yeah, they do. I'm like, you fuck eat off. six pounds of them, you yeah. get the same amount of protein. But right. like, do you know how many like 
small animals you kill farming oh, that yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Tons of rodents. And but I always feel like well, those animals don't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel like nowadays that most people that become vegan or vegetarian before, like when we were younger, I thought like the people that were vegetarians or vegans were people that were loved animals. And they're just like, right. I have love for animals. When I go to eat it, I think of it. And I, I don't understand that, but I kind of like get that. I understand that too. I understand understand that that more. And I'm like, oh, you just love, you know, whatever. Mm. That's how you feel. It makes you feel bad about it. A cruelty free lifestyle. I I get that. I I understand that too. But people do it for health reasons. I'm like, what are you doing? But now people just start eating gummy bears. (laughs) 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 Mike and Ike. That's it. But nowadays, like people, or, you know, they always say they're like uh, Oreos are vegan. Well, the Oreos are vegan. It's like, okay, you know. Cool. So are Cheetos. Well, maybe not because there's cheese. Is yeah, that's not fake. cheese. Is that real it's cheese? just cream and Oreo cookies, but that's not it's real not cream. Real cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably yeah. confessionary sugar and water. Right? Sure. Who knows? But uh, but now I think people just do it because they're like, they just want to be cool. Or, yeah. like, or I think a lot of times people do it because they think <laughs> that they're going to lose weight. And they're like, it's a diet. Yeah, or you're going to be so soft. I feel so Well, yeah, good. I mean, you're going to feel like this, like a Tempur-Pedic. Your body's going to have some like give to it, but it's going to like come back. Yeah, I just don't, I mean, I couldn't imagine thinking that that was like a health, there are ways to have a healthy vegan lifestyle, I think, but most people just do the restriction and don't focus on like the health, they're eating like popcorn and, you know. (laughs) Wait, I mean, didn't we talk about something, I forget who it was, but like, the guy, he's a vegan, all he eats is pop yeah robert cereal Deagle. robert, Deagle, robert Deagle. Deagle. yeah <laughs> yeah he's vegan he used to be a vegan and he only used to eat popcorn popcorn yeah movie theater and he popcorn. looked like his body looked like a like a melted piece of provolone <laughs> <laughs> like a like a bag of milk <laughs> yeah but now he's eating meat and he's like jack dude i mean that's not a, like a surprise though but like uh, real quick uh i think i told you about this the guy at the gym who actually really liked this guy brian and he sent me something about this like diet of this guy it was the meat diet the carnivore diet mm-hmm. he's telling me like i love this guy brian but this i had to like fight back a little on because he sent me this thing and i was like oh what's this it was an instagram link right what's this and he's like oh it's he's a doctor and all he does is the carnivore diet and i was like oh well, that's cool he's I like that he's curing he can cure major diseases <laughs> by eating this diet and i was like well no i think what you mean is you could probably avoid a lot of bad things happening to you down the road from eating bad shit by eating mm. meat. Cause generally speaking, that's probably a bit healthier than eating a junk diet, but it's Pizza. not curing diseases. And he's mm. like, well, no, there's research behind it. I was like, stop. Mm. No, mm. if someone has other leukemia, called, yeah. you're not curing it by eating beef. It's just not how it works. Yeah. And you could also make a, like a, a case for like a vegan diet. And they have all this research saying, well, actually you perform at a higher level by eating a vegan diet. Listen, dude. No, you're I'm, just eating healthier. You're eating more vegetables right. than you would before. Well, and always, you can make a case for anything. Mm-hmm. Like, I could definitely win a fight eating McDonald's for a fight camp. A hundred percent and nothing but McDonald's. You can make a case through one example for anything. Yeah, of course. You know? then it'd be like, oh, McDonald's. That's called anecdotal. 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 Right. That's a hundred percent true. A hundred percent true. I'll say this, though. with I don't really care for vegan products, but we've been buying these, like, vegan cookies this isn't like a sponsorship or anything but you they're wish. like um like the dough and then you put them in the oven yourself mm. far better than any similar product I had not, one, like a tolstoy I? oh yeah you had one yeah, one time we were, we what were kind of toll house they? whatever they're so Let's, good i'm gonna find it well, what uh, flavor cookies though were they i can't I remember don't even chocolate know chip. the chocolate Just chip right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I do but remember that they're, they're the, the best store-bought cookies i've ever had and wow. they, they happen to be vegan Wow. Usually it's I, uh sweet what's that? Sweet Lawrence? Sweet Lorraine's? Lore, yeah, Lawrence. Lore, Lawrence. Yeah, sweet Lawrence. Lawrence. They have them at every grocery store. Mm. Um, like the just kind of the peel and bake yeah. ones. Mm. And I, I don't know why I got them, but and you know Kyle, he hates any diet food, any diet drink, sure. anything. If it's I won't like, even try it. If it's like semi healthy, he'll be like, Ugh, yeah. it's gross. I'm like, but you didn't even try it. He goes, right. I want it, I'm gonna eat the real thing. Mm. So I knew if I told him these were like vegan, gluten free cookies, he wouldn't try it. Um so I just gave it to I made them and I gave it to him and he's like, Oh my God, what I'm like, You like it? It's so good, <laughs> right? And he's like, This is the best like cookie I've ever had. That's not like obviously it's a store bought like frozen sure. cookie dough. So it's not, you know, if you make them from scratch, but as I far was, as a store bought cookie, store bought cookie already. That's not from a bakery. Dough. It's the oh. best. He was like, this is so good. I'm like, it's vegan. He's like, 
what it's wild are you kidding me because i'm like if i would have told him that before he one he wouldn't have tried it two he would have been like it's not good yeah 100 percent. yep you should see him try to eat frozen yogurt oh i hate frozen yogurt i do i I feel like i just feel that's just product it's like just comes in a bag yeah it is dump the bag in a machine that is what it is that's a hundred percent what it is it's a liquid it tastes i taste i know i remember the last time we got it and like i actually really like this place we went to and he was like how is this? It's okay. I, I can tell it's frozen yogurt. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, so a couple months ago, I I was home by myself and I went to a frozen yogurt place and I got it. And I was like, wow, this is so good. Uh, it was during the fall. So I got the pumpkin flavor. Okay. Like, this is so good. And I told him, I'm like, this is the first time I've had frozen yogurt in like, like years. I'm like, cause since I started dating you, I feel like I'm not allowed to have it anymore. I, if I do, <laughs> the thing is we're together all the time. So if I want to have it, I have to get it when he's not around. Sure. And I was like, oh, I like snuck off and got frozen yogurt <laughs> behind his back. Where was it? Um, uh, Aspico Swirls and Twirls. That one's really that good. It's good. The plaza back near Barnes and, yeah. and Noble's. <laughs> yeah, that's where the Whole Foods is. Yep. Oh, is it really? Mm-hmm, oh, in that shopping bad. center. Yeah, that Swirls and Twirls is really good. Yeah, I got like the pumpkin with the crushed graham crackers, mm. white chocolate chips. I was like, oh, this is so good. Yeah. Wow. And But I felt guilty. I'm like, oh, Kyle's going to judge me if I eat this. Yeah, I feel like, okay. He does like, that when I use ketchup, too. I know he, like, side-eyes me, and it, like, has, like, a gross look on his face. Like, ugh, you're wait. using ketchup. I'm like, sorry, I like ketchup with my French too? fries. What's wrong with ketchup? With fries? Oh, it's just so pedestrian. Well, hold on. <laughs> That's something you would say. What, what and are I, you know, I feel fries? his eyes judging me when yeah. I use ketchup. I'm like, I'm not going to be uncomfortable using ketchup with French fries. Yeah. That's normal. Well, well, hold on. What do you dip your fries in? Nothing. Nothing. That's weird. Yeah. That's way weirder. You'll than do like ketchup. the sometimes if they have it. In the it. summer, I put like vinegar on it. Yeah, vinegar. Like you do that at Five Guys. I like salt and vinegar fries. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. No you cheese. You know what's funny ever. is, um, I wanted to, what is it? No what? Uh, obviously, no cheese. On what? Fries. Oh, like, fries. Yeah, I don't yeah, like no, that either. No, I don't like cheese. Any fries. melted cheese. No, I, I always like picture. Cheese. Yes, hundred percent. I picture like um, uh, I this is what I spray. No, I picture like a high school. You like um, pour it out like a whipped cream. That's a whole other. A high school concession stand where they ladle, ladle it out yeah. and they put in the thing, and then there's those round, Dude, shitty I, like I, tortilla I, chips, and people are totally dipping it. it in there. And then at the end, I could just visualize people Some scooping it, with their finger. it out with their disgusting <laughs> said, fingers, and then fingering it out. then licking their fingers, like Ew. scraping that melted cheese. But whenever <sighs> I think of like a melted you cheese, like a queso, that like even like, the like roller a, skating rink. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, same kind of the, or like the bowling alley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but even like a queso, like at Chipotle, really you want? No, queso. I'm like, no, 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 because I just picture Ugh. like that yellow, at, like orange. a high school football game. Someone just fingering <laughs> that shit out. <laughs> I'll never. Un- gross, that. man. So Yo, gross. like, I just picture I when you're doing that, and it's like like fluorescent yellow, yes. like yeah. real yellow, the toxic like, yellow. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that radioactive. No, I picture like and when, when it like someone doesn't touch it for a while and it gets that, that film, film on, on the top. top. <laughs> <laughs> like ripples. You, 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 you like take it out. And there's like a skin. <laughs> you're like just get rid of the film and the bottom's good. But like then the shit when it like the ladle drips a little bit. There's like hardened cheese around. They have to like stir it in. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this happen. That fucking like film across the top i remember <laughs> seeing someone um ch- do finish the thing be like oh are you done with that and then like Ew, use no, someone you else's not. i swear to god no, i think i remember seeing that i think i remember <laughs> <laughs> because i swear to god i think i remember <laughs> i mean oh, that someone's done that for yeah, sure. yeah yeah that, I that's one of the so grossest gross. things i could think so of, gross yeah you're not a you're not a cheese of this guy <laughs> No. Cheese with, that's what I was talking about. The spray. The spray is like a whole nother level. That's I don't not, even. They don't make that anymore, even. right? They don't. Well, you make know, that in anymore. Philly, well, that's part of a cheesesteak at some places. Yeah. What's the spray? They said with well, whiz not, or no, it's, but it's not in the can. No, it's just but, that that oh, the cheese, cheese yeah, like yeah, the nacho cheese. Yeah, that's part of a Philly cheesesteak traditionally. I think. Um, I bet that's vegan. Probably is. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it is. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, I just picture like Nate Diaz like doing whippets of that. <laughs> um it's funny we're with uh food because we actually get a lot of like food questions we've been going like live on um sure. uh instagram, instagram and stuff and people always ask us like food stuff because we post pictures and i think people know that no, you we guys like, cook we, yeah. yeah we cook you know yeah but um i kind of want to talk to you about this and i actually wrote this down but it's working in but uh when people say 
can I have your recipe, your steak recipe? Is there a recipe for steak? There's a process, There's a process. like how I mean, to make a steak. But a recipe, steak. a recipe means multiple ingredients yes. with specific measurements yes. and specific times. Correct. Like those are involved in a recipe. Like a steak is the ingredient no, is the steak. There's no recipe. Well, I mean, you could certainly spice it up with salt and pepper. But Even that's that, everything. that's just part of cooking, right? Cooking. There's yeah. not a recipe. There's not a recipe. The meat is the recipe. Like the only thing there's a recipe, I think, like baking, there's a recipe, like quarter teaspoon of salt or like and baking soda. Dish, or, like, yeah. or like the, most things I don't think really, inv- if you're a good cook, Kyle most things don't casseroles. really involve. I see why. <laughs> that don't involve a recipe. I don't like multiple ingredient meals. <laughs> like a casserole, like a bunch of shit in a pot. Yeah. Or a pan. That's really gross to me. I like mm. like a single ingredient. You like single, fresh, good ingredients. I do, yeah. But like call. a casserole where they open like cream of mushroom soup. That's disgusting. And then they put like That's potato chips disgusting. on top of it. That's why like a lot of people are like, oh, I love my crock pot. And, I see, and I'm like, oh, I like certain things in crock pots are nice. But when they're mm. constantly putting like a block of cream cheese mm. in it mm. with chicken, mm. I'm like, wait, mm. what? No. That's that's like gross to me. Oh, yeah. I don't like liquefying. So Another thing that bothers me is like liquefying meats. What? Like, no. What I mean is like a chicken, um, chicken wing dip. I totally it's basically like liquidized. You hate chicken buffalo wings, chicken but like, dip. and you scoop that shit mm-hmm. out, and it's a liquid meat. Any like if that. meat should never be blended. Agreed with that. That's so yes. fucking gross. Yeah. I second that. Hold on, real quick. I have to say this because I haven't thought about this in probably ten years. When this is funny, the last time I made this was at that Webster Green apartment that you came and visited me that I wouldn't leave for months. Uh-huh. Remember that? Um, I just I'm gonna be funny. Mm-hmm. My dad co-signed. He should never should have done that. Um, amazing <laughs> apartment. Definitely should have never done. What's that? Amazing apartment. So sick apartment. I it's such a bad idea. My dad loved me way too much. Uh, but like. Anyways, my you said crock pot. I thought of this. The last time I made it was that. It was one of those like meals that you could like leave in the crock pot and just turn it on. Yeah. And, you know. Anyways, it was uh my, I remember the recipe still. It's uh beef shoulder, like a giant hunk of horribly tough meat. Yeah. Okay, like you know, two pounds of it, a little block, drop it in, you know, a couple cups of water, and you use two packets of the French onion Lipton yeah. soup mm-hmm. mix or whatever, that French onion potatoes. dip or whatever it is. I don't remember exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, and then you do like a couple packets of chopped up mushrooms. You could do any veggies you want. That's fucking... fine as long as there's not. It's unbelievably good. Cream cheese. No. Or like, yeah. Or course. another thing I don't like is they're like, these are my Coca-Cola short ribs. And they'll pour like a yeah, bottle of Coca-Cola so in it. I'm like, That's yeah. like no. a, a root beer. Facebook tasty like, ad. What's the root fuck are you doing, what it is. Man. Yeah. Like that's root like, beer doesn't go on ribs. Yeah. That's like the Facebook tasty videos or something. Yeah. What you is know? That? Like you know, and there's videos on Facebook of like cooking videos and it's like mm, tasty and it's always like Ugh. croissant, buffalo chicken, extra whiz cheese <laughs> sliders. Yeah, I don't like like sliders. wacky like, zany oh, things. What? Or like they'll be like, We sliders. take this hamburger and we put it between two slices don't, of pizza. No, don't do yeah. that. No. Don't combine <laughs> foods. <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> Um, I had something else I wanted to say real quick. No, I can't remember. So you said in your apartment, you would like actually cook like that? Um, no, I didn't eat very often. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> remember what I used to eat? No. Drink. Yeah, I do. Muscle milk? Yeah. No, he, when he'd be like strung out for like days at a time, like, you've got to eat something. So tell him what you would eat. <sighs> how like, well, long would you go without eating? Three days or but so. Then you'd go for uh Well, I would go. Well, there's a couple things that were like to go to. So mm-hmm. If I like I was like listen, I'm not eating at this point because I'm hungry. I'm eating for survival. I knew I'm like this I'm in like a 3-day calorie deficit like wired so burning tons of mm-hmm. calorie being like super strong. Strung out. Strung out. Strung yeah. out. Legit strung out. But you still knew you're like I have I to have eat. I have to eat. Something. I mean, when I went into rehab, I was under 150 pounds. Really? Yeah, I was like a rail. There's a picture I'll show you after. It was disgusting. I mean, you're pretty thin now. No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Take I 20 pounds off. Like oh, that's what I mean. Take 20 pounds off. Yeah. I mean, that was what yeah. I weighed 148 pounds or something around. So there. hold on. This is what I did. I would walk to the, uh, it's called the A plus. It's a Sunoco, mm-hmm. like a mini mart. Mm-hmm. And I would take three of the like 400 calorie muscle milks up to the counter. And I would literally go like this. Like his nose. 
my God. And I would do that kidding. three times. And I would literally be like, How'd you not throw up? <laughs> That's why I plugged my nose. And then I would pay for them and I would leave. The other thing I did, and I think you remember this, I think you I can probably this. answer this. What? Mac yeah. cheese. What? Mac and cheese. Yes. Do you remember how I ate it? <laughs> no, it's all. This is sad. This is Bellas. sad. Okay, so like it, was, it had to be the Stouffer's. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's the, it's a black plastic container. Right, it's malleable. You can move it. Nice. Right, throw that in the microwave. Do not heat it fully up because then you can't drink it. Okay, so throw it in, warm it up, stir it just so it's lukewarm, and you fold it and you just kind of like shovel it in and just swallow. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> yeah. It's not like my proudest time, but you know, I was but just because you were just thinking, what's uh like a calorie dense thing that and, I could just get down. Mac, yeah. mac and cheese is about as calorie dense as you can get. I mean, yeah. that little tub of mac and cheese is like 1,200 calories. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you'd yeah. be good. Yeah, like for, you know, two days or so. But most of your calories were probably from beers, right? I would say like 90 well, that's a lot. something percent. Well, if you drink a 30 pack, I think each beer is like 100 and something calories. 100 calories yeah. or maybe more, 120 calories. Well, you remember what I was drinking? So that's like 3,500 calories, you know? Yeah. Mm, do you remember? What? You were drinking like a 30 pack a day. Yeah, but like when and I said that, people think of me like getting blasted. It wasn't that. I would yeah. drink it over like the course of the day. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, at, oh, I'm going out at 9 p.m. And from no. 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., you're no. not drinking 30 no. hours. No, I mean, well, because, I just do that wasn't, too, but that's not my deal. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't your blood pressure so high that they were like, well, they the beer saved your life. Like, yeah, like right? beer will save yeah, it you was, uh, Yeah, well, what happened? It, like, well, also, yes, yeah, so you do... Uh, Thin your blood out by drinking alcohol. Obviously, that's why people bleed more when they're right. drunk. But like uh, my blood pressure, when I went into the hospital those couple of times, they literally told me like, listen, you're going to die. You have the blood pressure and like the- You the still have high blood pressure, don't you? I have high, yeah. I, have I do too, kind Yeah. Of. I have like since way before I was using drugs. Yeah. But they told me like, listen, dude, you're, I told them when I was doing like, you need to stop. You're going to die. And like they would, this guy two or three times and they would like sedate me. Send me home. I would be totally freaking out. Uh-huh. Like, when they said dude, that, would that bug, that would that, that scare night, you or not? I went home and it'd be like several hours later and I'd go right back to the same thing. I'd be like, I was just having a panic attack. I was flipping out. I was like, it was all in my head. Yeah. Press repeat. It was a very, well, it's, I mean, it's excuses. just like, a, yes. that's like, not someone who did a lot of drugs. It's like a drug addict. You're legit addicted. Like, well, yeah, that, you could, I mean, you justify anything. Well, yeah. Like I'm, not eating. Cause some people course. just party. No, you weren't no. like partying. You're a drug no, no, no. addict. Hold on a second. Partying. That's what Im- I mean. It's different. Partying would imply that you're enjoying it. I was not having a good time. Right. My life was in fucking ruins and I was young. I was 23. So like, what does a 23 year old really have to lose? What I mean, not I was a ton, getting evicted really. from my apartment. My car was in a thousand pieces in the garage because I thought I could tear it apart and put it into a race car. <laughs> I hadn't seen my parents in four months, maybe five or I don't know, m- more than four months. Mm-hmm. Every single one of my friends literally wouldn't come to my house because you had to walk around furniture that I'd piled in front of the door because I thought people were breaking in. It was a uh, horribly stressful life but it's a hard the problem why would you keep doing it no it's a hard cycle to break yeah Yeah. it's very tough and like i know we're like fucking around joking about it but like yo dude it's not as easy as just like well if you're not having a good time cut it out Uh, dude when you wake up and you feel so shitty and like it's not like and then it's easy to just be like all right after today well i mean that was literally three years for me like i'll stop tomorrow i'll stop tomorrow yeah you know and then last the next, time last time but yeah, that yeah, goes on of course. i mean it's the same with people like trying to diet of people course. are addicted to that's why i always think of like people are addicted to like junk food they're mm-hmm. like oh i'll start monday they'll start monday they do yeah. that for their whole entire lives and never right. ever start it's sure. the same exact thing well and the other thing that like uh I, I don't think you guys i don't know they probably won't be able to like relate completely to this but i'm certain you've done this not with drugs but with food and other mm-hmm. things obviously but like what drug addicts do and what i certainly did would would be rewarding yourself. So if I did something productive in the first portion of the day, you justify it by like, I deserve this. <laughs> I worked hard today. That's like, common yeah. with drug addicts. Extremely. Yeah. I a reward at the end of the day right. for doing something maybe partially productive. But it's funny because we were talking just yesterday after you left, <clears throat> um, because we were Facebook li- or Instagram live for a little bit <clears throat> and like your addictions, like how you were like addicted to fishing for years. And 
now you really don't fish anymore. I, and now I you're addicted like, to okay, hiking. Wait, but, wait, as soon as you said fishing, I felt his energy and he's like annoyed that right? you even talked no, at the word fishing. But, no, he's, but on the on Instagram live the other night, don't everyone know that. was you like, don't fish anymore. No, but everyone was like, Gregor, what's what are you catching? What was the last fish Nothing. you catch? And Gregor goes, I'm not a fisherman. I'm a mountaineer. I'm a mountaineer. <laughs> That's but true. you were like worked up about it. Yeah, but like well, that's like, like that's like a, a bygone part of your life. That I mean, I'll done. fish once in a while. Like if you guys want to catch a shark, I'll be like, yeah. "Hey, shark man, can you take me and my buddies out?" Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Or like, "Yo, dude, remember I bought a boat after my buffalo fight?" Yeah, yeah. Do you know how many times I used it this summer? Mm. None. Zero. Zero. I paid a couple hundred dollars to have it dewinterized. Mm -hmm. And then another couple hundred dollars winter. to have it winterize. I didn't use it once. Yeah. So Why I, don't you I, just sell it? I'm well, like, it's, it's, yeah. I'll use it again. I'll use yeah, it again. Yeah, I'll use it. You'll, when Gillespie, you live up there, you'll, you'll, I'll you'll use it. it. I'm sure I'll, yeah. you know, like, I'm sure there'll come a time too where I'm like, I don't want to fucking hunt. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, like, hold on. I also want to, like, definitely I'm say, not this. a fisherman. What I'm did I call myself? A what? A mountaineer. Okay. Now, what would most people say that I'm doing? Hiking. Like I'm climbing hiking. mountains. I'm fucking climbing mountains, dude. There was a 100% situation this weekend where I was with Christina. I'm glad we brought this up. Christina's my girlfriend for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> We're climbing two mountains. It was not kidding. Like, we got to talk about the, the difference thing, too. Mm. Don't jump the gun on this, though. So, when we went out, it was at the start of the hike at base elevation in the parking lot of the trailhead. It was negative 30 Fahrenheit. Okay? Then... Degrees. Negative 30 Fahrenheit degrees mm -hmm. at base elevation. And anyone knows as you go up, it gets colder. And that was not accounting for the wind chill. And as you go up, it's windy. So, dude, I mean, like, to the point where when you wipe, like, your nose on your sleeve, it was instantly hard. You couldn't take your hands out of gloves for one second. And these two mountains that we did are were extremely, like, secluded. So how long was this going on for? Like, uh, how long did you... 20, 20 miles, over 20 miles in 14 plus hours. We started in the pitch dark. And what about when you have to pee? Dark. It's really tough. You can, like, I, I asked I mean, my for buddy, you, it's Joe, easier. Christina didn't pee one time. Not one time? Stop. She's lying. She peed no, her pants. I was with her the entire time. She didn't pee once. Yeah. You and, have like, to prepare and, like, make sure you don't really, like... Well, like, this is part, like, this is good and bad. She definitely does not drink and eat enough on the on, on the climbs. And like I get on that. He said he eats that. 20 uncrustables. No, I bring 20. I, oh. I ate 12, but 12 I carry her. Uh, I mean, dude, I, I can't imagine how many calories I've Do you know what that. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, I can't imagine. I, I definitely was in a deficit by the end of the day. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are a hundred and something calories a piece. You never wore like, does she ever wear like an Apple Watch or anything like that? She does, but at, at 14 hours the thing dies. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So you so, have no idea how many calories you I burn. No. She wear like a whoop band. I know, yeah. I would just really to, be just to be, I mean, yeah. you're gonna do the same thing regardless, but just sure. fun fact. Yeah, I no, I would love to know see I your recovery the next day. Yeah, I, the, the problem with those things, and this, I was talking to a kid I trained earlier about that. I don't really want to get into the whoop traps no. and those statistic things because I'm gonna start trying to beat right. my that's stats. What that's not healthy for me. Yeah, right. absolutely not healthy. For <laughs> me. No, I've used to use the <laughs> whoop the whoop band for yeah. a year, and then I would get to mm. like, I can't finish this workout till I get to this amount of calories. And I'm like, really? Well, wait, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah, I, that's, that's why I stopped doing all. it. Yeah, like I knew like all my smart. And then I would get mad. Mm. You know who else um, for a while? Uh, Frank Yeager was using it. And, mm. you know, if you have your phone out, you can see it. I would get so pissed. Like we're basically doing the same workout and he would burn like like hmm. crazy, like double really? the amount oh, of me. Well, hold on. That's actually that's a guy girl thing. Well, no, I think. That's also it is a guy girl thing. But that's also that's like completely based off on your of heart beats. your heart rate yeah. so like so that if you have a lower heart rate that means nailed it. that you're more efficient you're more so efficient you're less. right so i yeah. show you of this but despite the size there's no other way that they can measure there's it there's no other well by the yes, outside the body well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, weight yeah, yeah. weight mm. also is, has to account for that really 100 oh, your body weight your yeah, body yeah, yeah, weight yeah. so like yeah. if me and certain let's just pretend we're both 175 pounds mm. mm -hmm. if we went out and we did the climbs that i did you're gonna burn twice as many calories as me you're just not as efficient. Right. My heart rate's going to be considerably right. yeah. lower. Right, right. That right. makes sense. That's like a huge compliment. You it's know? like yeah. when like a, a wrestler does like a boxing workout, dying. they're like dying, hitting mm -hmm. mitts, but then it, and it goes the other way around. Sure. You well, know? that's like when I, when you were uh, hitting mitts, like I think it was the last time or maybe the second to last time with Keith, and like I can't not take the one minute break. Mm -hmm. and she uh, didn't yeah. take one. Yeah. Or like she could do that one, forever. Maybe one. I don't you know. know who always talks about this is uh, Donna. Her. 
Yeah. John Donner always talks about the being efficient and inefficient. There's mm. no such thing. He always says there's no such thing as cardio. Mm. You're either efficient or inefficient. Like sure. he says, like, for instance, like if Michael Phelps, you brought him into a jujitsu class, he couldn't finish a role. He'd be like exhausted. Sure. But if you put, you know, Gordon Ryan in the pool, he, you know, he'd be exhausted swimming mm. one lap. So it's whatever you're more efficient. If you're cardio. super efficient, uh, you don't need to be in good shape. Yeah, that's like, actually really cardio smart. shape. It's just mm-hmm. efficient, sure. inefficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Gordon Ryan's cardiovascular system is top notch, as is Michael Phelps. Right. They're just efficient at different things. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. I just want to say this too because I, I can't not. I just want to say uh, <laughs> no, like that hike thing too. Like so, I can't call it a hike. It's a climb because people. I think when they picture a hike. I they picture like, oh, yeah, yeah. This is what you're like saying. They, all, like, they have their poles and mm-hmm. their pack on and they're walking through the woods. Your hands are touching the ground. Right? Oh, dude, no, no, this is the part where I was going to say with Christina. And this was actually super scary. And I was like, I don't want to say like, I definitely wasn't mad at her, but like I was mad at the situation. And I apologized after for kind of like, I didn't yell at her, but I, I went like this and I'll play the situation. I was like, was that real? Was that fucking real? Are you kidding me with that? And like, I was not mad at her because, dude, it was a I, like a this is on Cliff Mountain mm-hmm. and going up this in the summer. I'm certain I couldn't see it because it was covered in a sheet of ice, but it's probably 15 feet straight up, and there's roots and shit you can grab onto. But it's 15 feet up to a ledge. Okay, then you go normal hiking, right? But that was great on the way up. You have uh, snowshoes that have big crampons on the front, which are claws. Mm-hmm. So when you're climbing up the ice, all right, it's good. You know, dude, going down is very different because now you're trying to lower yourself oh, down yeah. you have snowshoes on snowshoes are this long right. and you're on a hinge so they swing and they're hinged at the ball of your foot so the rest of it you have to it's the only way to make them so like the bottom of your snowshoe swinging so joe went down first our buddy that went with us he's going down the trail christina's lowering herself down now remember she's got two pairs of gloves on she has a liner in her mitten which you have to wear in that temperature i'm above kind of like trying to help christina this is not a joke i swear to god it was like this she's holding on to a root with one hand my hand with the other hand now remember i have a liner and a mitten on as well she's got the same the grip's not very strong no the gloves start sliding off she's got like no she's hanging her feet are kicking attached to nothing i'm leaning over like this holding on and she's like you can see she's starting to cry. She's like, I'm, I'm losing grip. I'm going to fall. So what if she I have fell? To let... what, what... She did. Oh, okay. She did fall. So I'm holding. And I was like, don't let go. Don't let go. No. Get near the mic. I was like, don't let go. Don't let go. No, no. And she's like, I'm, I'm... she's starting to cry. She's like, I'm going to go. I have to let go. I'm going to lose a grip. Her gloves fucking sliding off in my hand. I literally was like, holy fuck. Oh my God. Am I going to It's not in a some... sheer cliff, is yes, it? Yes, it oh, was. Yeah. It was probably like 15 feet down. Okay. So she like. She turned the right way and her back kind of went against the ice cliff and she kind of slipped. Now remember, it's not 15 feet straight down. She's hanging down. So it's probably yeah, like nine eight, eight or nine foot drop. But like she's like definitely athletic and she landed correctly. But like, yo, dude, it's really tough with snowshoes on because there's a thing hinging off the bottom of your foot. So like if you land and the snowshoe aims outwards like this, it's going to snap your leg oh the wrong God, way. Stop. Dude, she landed correctly. And I was like, <gasps> She landed. She was okay. And I was like, Holy just fuck, was that real? I was like, why did you let go? She, and then she explained that her glove was like coming off. I was like, dude, that was horrible. Like, I know it was terrifying for her, but like watching that and like losing the grip mm. on like someone you, you love like that. Like, oh my God. Wait, that reminds me of the mom, movie. I'm sure I would never hear this, but holy fuck. Why? You never know. We always get in trouble for the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. They'll, they'll never hear this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, no, but that reminds me of my favorite movie when I was little. Was the Cliffhanger? Good, no, The Good oh. Son. Oh, with yeah. Macaulay, Culkin, Macaulay Culkin. That and was, was like your a, favorite movie? I yeah. love that I movie. I remember that. And she holds his hand and they have the yeah. two sons. Ah, and I let's go of the hand. That. That, yeah, that was you. Dude, she reminded me of, uh, I know you know this guy. I don't think you do. Johnny DeJulius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what he does, right? Jumps out of planes, right? Like, I know he also stands on the wings of oh, planes yeah. with his That's feet crazy. clamped. You know, like a like a biplane, like a World War II plane, mm-hmm. with the, the double or World War One plane, the double wings with like a prop. Yeah. Okay. He stands oh, on yes. the wing with his feet like bindings on his bindings on the the one wing, and he's standing there like, like this, and the plane goes into like a corkscrew, like upside down roll, and he's attached to the wings. Standing. Yo, you know who he was just hanging out with, by the way. Logan and uh, Jake Paul. 
He's oh, doing videos wow. with those guys, jumping out of shit. But anyways, this is the, what I wanted to get to. He's got a video that went, it was probably his first like real Well, they probably know each video. other from high school. He's, they're from Ohio. Ohio, right. And they wrestle. I bet they, it's how they know mm. each other. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. But uh, the video of his, that he's very popular on Twitter, yeah. uh, TikTok. He's in a hot air balloon. Shit, you not. I'll send it to you after. It's so insane. He's in a hot air balloon and the video is taken from in the basket, looking down and he's holding onto someone's hand. And he's kicking his feet. He's like, don't let go. Don't let go. And the person's like, don't let go, Johnny. Don't you let go. He's like, I'm letting go. And he just falls out of this hot air balloon. He's like, but he's got a parachute. He's got a parachute. Yeah. But, like, but he's making it. Like- I mean, dude, if you don't know like what you're watching, you're like, what the holy fuck? Yeah, he's got a parachute on. But like, that's what I thought of when that that's was happening. Wild, don't let go. Man. I can't hold on. I'm letting go. I was like, People terrible. who do stuff like that, I always think like, that's crazy. Like, Although that that's safer than the the craziest thing that I think I know what you're gonna say is the people who climb like um, Free Solo Hanel or mm-hmm. Alex Hanel Alex Hanel. There's nothing crazier than that. Yes, they there don't is. Ha- no, there's not. Yes, there is. Mark LeBlanc. Oh, the guy with the, the ice. Yeah. It's doing the same thing on ice, but on ice. Yeah. Yeah, where a temperature can change by one or degree. Or if you just drop that thing, the ice right? axe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Well, I'm sure they that. have a they have a no they oh, have a the bracelet, match, yeah. but like. I mean, dude, they say it in the documentary. You saw it. Like, if there's a temperature change by a couple degrees, that yeah, thing yeah. that's holding you up 1,200 feet above the ground may not be there. Yeah, like jumping out of a plane, like something like could go wrong and you could still live because I'm sure they have backup shoots they too, do. right? Yes. So like even one shoot is better. These guys have nothing. If you fall, that's it. You die. Dude. Like you can't make one mistake. But do you remember that? I always think like you're reaching up and like mm-hmm. you go to grab like what in a shelf and like or like a like a <laughs> what if, like, a, like a spider bites your finger like ah fuck. Yeah. Well, I can't God. imagine like some of those guys. Well, not the ice ones, but like the free solo ones. Yo, you're sticking your fingers in like desert. Rock that's what I mean. Crevasses. What if like a scorpion? That's what I just said. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, what about that's the, the only thing that's crazier? Like, because the people who mm. jump out of planes, the, there's some technology sure. to save you. Mm. Right. Well, the goal is to jump out and do this. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's no goal for like if you slip. like if you do Mom. that. Alex Hummel, like, I mean, I think he's so amazing, but like, he can't just. He's not going to just stop. Well, One day what, he'll you just. You know be what's dead. the percentage they said on that show? I, no, I don't know. It's a hundred, right? You know, it's like fifty percent of people who do that. Well, die. just imagine. I mean, die. I not I just got too old to do it because you just got too old to do it, right? Yes. No one. Just Alex Hummel, all I hate through. to say he he will die. I mean, Probably, I yeah. hate to say that, but like, how would he not? Yeah, it's hard. And not to only know. that, he's doing for like speed records. Like, wow. Right. Well, El Capitan, he's at the speed record. Then that guy in the documentary, the alpinist for anyone who's wondering. You, you would you would never do that? No, I can't do that. I bet you no. could though. I would. I don't could, you think I you would. could? Yeah, well, my like pulling strength yeah. for sure. I don't want to. You ever climb or climb Why? Like a rock? Why? Because you don't want to get obsessed with it. Yeah. No. I, no. I just know I would die. Have you ever like, tried? I don't have a death wish. You know, I like doing exhilarating things. I'm good at that. Yeah. I bet you are. I yeah. And like I, you could probably just at the fair go. Yeah. And ch- ch- you know where it started? My dad making me do I beam pull ups in the basement. Mm. You know, with like, I beam. It's a it's a structural thing in like a basement. Oh no, yeah, a yeah. rafter. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not a rafter. No, an I beam is not a rafter. Oh, an I beam. No, holds up the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, then yeah, you're yeah. thinking the pole. Of, the pole. pole. It's no, no. the pole is under the I-beam. The I-beam rests on it. It's the piece of metal. Uh, it's yes, like yes, yes. Where you put a heavy bag. A seal. Yeah. You can't put your fingers through it. It's just mm. a flat, yes, yes. like yes. horizontal ledge yep. that you hold onto like this. That's like where we wrap the heavy mm. bag around in the basement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that. Not every house has them. No, they don't. Well, you have to have a basement to have yeah. one, yeah. Um, but I just want to also uh, mention this. The Two things, so don't forget. One, I carried the majority, and I told you guys this, that climb that I did with Christina and Joe a couple weeks ago was absolutely 100% positively the hardest thing I've ever done. No doubt. That's For, crazy that she mm-hmm. does that too. Like well, and also, yeah, like, no, that absolutely. sounds like such an insane thing to say. Like someone who's like Mm-mm. fought in the UFC all Not those times, national title Not wrestling, close, the hardest dude. thing you ever did was when like I, the hike. I couldn't talk when I got back. I couldn't talk. Now, Christina is amazingly tough. In again, you would have felt like, oh, she's in better shape than him getting back. She's like talkative and happy. I couldn't talk. I got back. I went to bed and I had like, and you got my eyes. 
just hey, so exhausted from the day. Pizza and everything hurt. Exhausted, couldn't like function. But like this is like the, the, the uh, back at the Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. the cabin. Yeah, but I got to say this: I do carry the gear. Yeah, so like yeah. she has a pack, but she has like a, a little bit of water, her spikes, and you know her snowshoes in the back. I'm carrying, and I'm guessing. Well, you when probably I say are this. just more dramatic too, right? Mm, yeah, of for course. sure. I would say that's absolutely <laughs> true. No, no for course. sure. But like, dude, I'm telling you, over the course of 14 hours. 50 pounds or whatever 40 i would say 40 pounds plus what i'm wearing adds up man of course so it's funny though mm. um it, it was an interesting thing i think she said it on her instagram story it was like the what was the word she used type for like fun. you're having like a miserable time type but then fun. afterwards it's type two fun type so two explain fun. that so type two fun and my friend joe ordway the one that we hike with and he's the guy with the apartment up there in saranac that i uh, stay in mm. um he's a real rugged dude like he goes out and he is not in a rush to get back because he knows, hey, I'm out here and I got to stay the night. I'll be good. That dude is Damn. like, he'll be walking through and he always does this to me. And I fuck it up always. He'll be like, what's that route? I'll be like, fuck, I know you told me this when we did Big Side. He's like, gold thread. Come on, you got to be better than that. Like he knows, he knows everything. everything. Yeah. What's that so, tree but, So what, what's that fun? Okay. Type two fun. And Joe's the one that said this because, dude, the last four hours when you got like eight miles left and it pitch black and you gotta That's put your headlamps so on scary. every fucking step hurts and now you think like hey going out to the mountain it's everything's uphill right and then the way back is downhill and like you just get tricked into thinking that the way back is it's, down it's not uh, there is some fucking uphill yeah. there's a stretch on the way back and there's eight miles off it's pitch black and we're two miles uphill and i remember being like this and this is where this came from i was like yo dude when the fuck are we going downhill, bro? When are we going downhill? And I don't ever complain about conditions or vertical mm -hmm. or gain or anything because I know we're doing this and it's supposed to be hard. And the reason it's something to do is because it's hard. And Joe from the back goes, ha ha, type two fun. And I was like, what? And he's like, hate it when you're doing it. Can't wait to do it again. And I was like, that is absolutely. I mean, that's accurate. the best way to describe fighting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, almost, but a lot of things a are, lot of is things. like that. Yeah, I think. But like, it's, I the first the time I ever after of like doing something you don't you right. push yourself that you're like I don't like that the feeling after you can't you can't mimic that can't. like the opposite of that would be like like a roller coaster ride or facts like, like you're on the roller coaster mm -hmm. you're like oh this is fun like i went on a roller coaster it was fun but you're never gonna think of that moment again mm -hmm. hey, it's sir, just like do you remember that time we were on the fucking we went on roller, a sick coaster? roller coaster what did yeah. you learn from that or have a memorable yeah, it was fun while yeah, you did it yeah but you'll never remember you'll never you think of that's it again almost like like how people are into like because i don't, i'm not really into like tattoos mm. But people are into getting them. Like sometimes yes. some people are just like it because for the looks, mm. but they're like, oh no, I hate it. it. Hurts. I'm like, I have like one little one on my foot and it hurts so bad mm -hmm. that I was like, even if I wanted to be totally tatted up, I could never do it because it hurts mm -hmm. so bad. And people that have like a lot of tattoos, I'm like, doesn't that hurt? They're like, yes. oh, it hurts so bad. I'm like, but it's, oh, I feel like that's something similar. Like they hate it when it's, you're doing it, but then after correct. it's like, mm. so here's, how, and I, yeah, I can attest to that. So, I love the process of like the planning mm. going in and where I get it done at Kings. I haven't in a while, but you go and you get like a console. They do like a sketch, mm -hmm. you like the process of that. And then when you're getting it done and you said it, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Like, Oh, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it is. Okay. It hurts like a motherfucker. And like, you can't wait for it to be over. You haven't got a tattoo in a while. Like, There's years. You're getting them like, Oh my God. Like every month, every month. Yeah. Yeah. But like, dude, when you're getting it, it's, horribly painful and you're like sweating and you're like, oh my god what the fuck is this gonna be you're over like, no this isn't normal this is different well, I, this, this is time. different this is horrible I, like my back of my calf was like that i was like laying on my belly and like that little like paper sheet like they put over mm -hmm. the desk at the doctor's office was turning into like wet toilet paper i was sweating so much yeah and then dude when i left i was like starting to plan my next one yeah, yeah. well you like the um the, the prep involved with the hiking too right More you like anything. like getting the gear yeah. and packing your bag yeah. and your, you know, you're like travel. that too but i'm know. the same way but i was just gonna say yeah. that's part of my obsession with like the boat and oh, the beach yeah. i like to have like well if things go bad on the boat i have this bag and this, this charger and this yeah, yeah. yeah. and then yep. the same with thing with the beach too mm -hmm. i like to make sure we have like the best coolers and the best mm -hmm. you know blankets and chairs yeah, yeah. And for sure now hold on you know but the I, prep is fun for okay. like your activities because yeah. you guys what do you think my absolute favorite part of the prep is 
You probably don't even know about this, so I'll just tell I don't you. Know, I don't know. Putting all your clothes on. Okay, like nope. The year. I, no. <laughs> no. Uh, mapping my route on my GPS. Oh, okay. You know, you can, like, yeah, plan yeah. a route, and it's essentially like this. So, like, you lose service when you're in the mountains, right? So I do it on my... I have a, it's called a, um, a Garmin GPS 66i, just a handheld satellite messenger GPS, mm-hmm. not touchscreen, touchscreen, super fragile, it's waterproof, super durable. I may make it on there and I make it on my Gaia app on my phone. What you do is, let's say I'm doing it on a touchscreen phone. You open the app, you zoom in on the area you want, you take your finger, hold it down, makes a little dot, find the next spot, press that, hold another dot and it makes the route. Yeah. And then what happens is once you go on airplane like ways. Mode, you, is that way it does that? Yeah, it's like okay. a GPS. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a GPS. Yeah. yeah. But it makes it, well, obviously, like Waze doesn't. It downloads it. Downloads it. So once you go offline, it has a highlighted route. And when you go on the trail, your arrow, you don't need service to be GPS, obviously. So your little triangle, which is you, if you're not on that highlighted route, you know you're not on the right path. You right. You go figure out how the fuck to get back to that. Yeah. You know? But a lot of people rely when they're, when they're mountaineering and hiking and whatever on their phones. You really well, can't. This do just, that. I feel um, like you can't rely on your phone to go for a jog. Sure, like, it might agreed. die, you might lose service. Right. Or like, like extreme cold, extreme heat turns it yeah, off too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even at that, the beach, sometimes mm-hmm. your phone will go off. The GPS sure. uh, markings thing reminded me we, we went uh, car shopping this weekend. Yeah. She needed a new car. And the first place we went to, the guy was like, you know how like used car, or car salesmen, not used, but car salesmen have like a bad rep. Like, oh, he's a sleazy car salesman. Sure. Like this guy was like the epitome of like a, a Long Island car salesman. Douchebag <laughs> car salesman. But he kept saying, he's like, well, this one, if you get this one, this one has the nav. This this has the nav. What car that does one doesn't. It? I was like, wait a minute, what? He's like, well, it's the nav. You know, he's like, mm. it's 2K extra, but come on, you're going to not get the nav. I'm like, dude, wait a minute. Who the fuck is using nav? You, if you uh-huh. plug your phone in on any of those screens, it becomes you just nav. use the right. one on your phone, like, like I, I maps, could, but... Google Maps or Waze or whatever on your phone. The, the ones nav. when it, before before the phone before your phone, like when everyone used to have a, a navigation, or even the ones that came like yeah, built yeah. in, those suck. Those mm. suck. Like, the phones are always better. I don't understand why they never made those good. Because even now, when you use one, they're you're like horrible. What they is never that? were. I ne- even in nice cars, you mm-hmm. can. You, they're like yeah. awful. So now you just plug your phone sure. in, and it and it, it comes up comes like up. the Apple yeah, yeah. Play. No, so I, I agree that uh, like the GPSs look like the graphics are from like a PlayStation One. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, so when we super squared off, yeah. And, like, when we were uh, car shopping, I was I actually thought I was like, oh, I wish Gregor was here because I wish this I type of person he kept is the calling type of, you as soon as we left. Yeah, this is the type of person that like <laughs> you have a lot of experience with. But oh, you mean and like it's a weird thing dance. when someone's Got like it. like the car salesman is like bragging about like his life to us. Like he was like saying <laughs> he's like, well, you yeah, know, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. He's like last last January I was in Aruba. Like, cool nice man. and he's like i just bought a motorcycle like cool he well, kept like dragging all like, these things like who <laughs> thinks that's cool man shut up so here's my thing i had to like so i'm looking at cars and i'm not mm-hmm. into cars right and so i don't really know what to look to me i just want to see what i look like I, i'm like i don't care how they drive because to me every car drives good if sure. you're getting especially if you're getting a new car you're a new car yeah yeah and um, they were like, oh, do you want a test drive? And I was like, no, I'm good. And they're like, well, Kyle's like, we should probably well, test I mean, drive should, it. And I was should, like, yeah, okay, yeah. fine. And I was like, mm. whatever. I'm like, I just need you to might s- Not that how it actually drives, but like, well, oh, I don't like the transmission yes. there. Or I don't like For the sure. dial transmission. Like, that yes. shit matters. Like, mm, of course, I remember I one time that. I had one. It was like in the, the middle. turn one. It was just in like, the middle? Yeah, I, I, I didn't like that. It's the worst. Yeah. I wouldn't get a car that has that. Mm. So then I'm like... I just need to sit in the driver's seat and just be like, oh, how mm-hmm. does it feel? Because that for me, I'm more of like, I want to be, I drive a lot. So yeah. I want to be like comfortable when I sit in it. Yeah, I don't care if it's it. anything. Mm. But so I start driving and then I'm like, all right, this guy's like, you know, kind of being annoying. And he's like, all right, he chops in. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, he's going to uh, come with, which is fine. I assumed he would. Kyle's like, usually they don't always come with. No, and I'm like, never I've never seen. test drove a car. Yeah. So I had no idea. I was like, okay. So I'm like, I'm in the back parking lot. He's like, can you get out of here? Or do you need? I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, obviously what? I can get out of the parking lot. But like when I'm driving with someone else that I don't know, a car that's not yours, someone else in the car, I'm like nervous. Now I don't know where I'm going. I'm like, right. how far do I go uh, around? Right, yeah. You know? And he's like, oh, just go up here. And then like after a, a little bit, he's like, 
all right, that's good. Uh, or no, I said that. I was like, all right, I think that's good. Should I turn around? He goes, no, no, keep going. Let's yeah, take no. it on the highway. He's like, you're keeping me out of the office. Let's stay out. And I was like, we, we bro, like day, this isn't high school. I'm not <laughs> trying to drive around with you. Yeah. And he like kind of, we talked about fighting or something. And he's like one of those people. This is a very specific type of person. You know, I know you know a lot of people like this. I think it's not just so someone that's a little weird, a little corny, a little uncomfortable. You guys are on this different page. Not that this is like almost like a mental illness, I think. Yeah, a mental illness. When someone like refers to people <laughs> that you don't know. A first mm. name and tells you is talking about someone on first name basis and you never met. So he were driving and he's like, Yeah, Malik's thinking about getting into that. I was and it was dead silent. And I go, well, who's Malik? And he goes, Malik, he wrestled in uh, Ice Slip. Uh, he's thinking about getting into MMA. I was like, okay, cool. That That's something that people don't understand. Like, if you are going to say someone's name and something about them that the other person doesn't know, there needs to be, like, a preemptive yes. introduction to This kid to I that. know, Malik. Like, this kid who used to wrestle with my son, Malik, is looking to get into MMA. Yeah. Or if you, people just say, like, yeah, and then Roger came over. Like, you have to... My neighbor, Roger. Like, or, I don't or, know. I don't like when people just insert someone's first name that you don't know. But Correct. this guy was so annoying that it honestly, I think, yeah, yeah. made. I think it made me not get the car. Yeah, mm. for sure. I he was just like, yeah. I guess I shouldn't say that because I think bragging. if I really, really wanted it, I would have gotten it. But like the whole time, I was like, oh, I just want to get out of here. Okay, all right. Uh, which finally we got back to the place, and I'm like. Can you just call us and tell us the numbers? All right, well, we got to go. And then we, I left, and I'm like... The second you left, you're like, I'm not buying that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess much. maybe if I really, really wanted it, I would have. But mm -hmm. he definitely made it a like very annoying. And yeah. you would think like a car salesman like... Would be the opposite? Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. Um, so I'm going to say this is not the exact same situation, but like I know this has happened to you. I don't obviously. I don't think it's happened to you because you didn't wrestle, obviously. Mm -hmm. But like, I know this has happened to you, and I'm just gonna make a name up, okay? And this, I, I it happens at Seven Eleven. It's happened at Manny's house. It's happened at wrestling tournaments, and it'll be like this. This is a hundred percent. And I know people are definitely not gonna believe me. You've been around when I do it, but like, I wear your phones even if there's they're dead and there's no music on. Why do I wear them? So people don't talk to you. Uh, yeah, and I don't want them to see my ears because oh, people yeah. instantly think like. They can talk to me. And like, this happened at 7 Eleven. I didn't that know that. That happens to you all the time. Where'd you wrestle? No, of course. Now, this is what happened. I'll be like making my coffee, right? I'll be like this. Like, and someone, I don't look at them. They'll be over here. And like, yo, where'd you wrestle? Do you wrestle? I'm like, no, nah, I didn't wrestle. Oh, jiu jitsu. I'm like, nope. <laughs> oh, you fight then? Nope. <laughs> I'm like, or if they know I wrestled through like a common friend, like Manny had a friend mm. that was at his house with him. I don't know if it's a friend or a relative or something. He's like, yo, man. You know Vinny Pascal? I'm making the name up. I'm sorry if someone's name out there probably is Vinny Pascal. <laughs> I was like, it sounds like yeah, very I, real. I, yeah, it's probably like a hundred on Long Island. Island. Sure, correct. And he's like, "Yo, bro, you gotta know Vinny Pascal, dude. How do you not?" I'm like, that almost sounds like Vince man. Pichel. Vince Pichel, like Bushy, your boy. Said that. Yeah. No. Uh, so hold on, this gets good. And he's like, "No, no, no you you gotta know him." I was like, "Yeah, listen, man, I, I didn't. Grow, normally, I wouldn't entertain this, but it's like Mandy's relative mm -hmm. or something." He's like, "Yeah, I didn't grow up here, man. Like." I, just don't know anyone, man. If it's before 2012, I don't know anyone. Sorry, I mean, he's like, oh, no, no, dude, you gotta know him. Oh my he God. was so good. Dude, he was all county. How do you not know him? I was like, ah, man, I don't know him, man. Vinny Pascal, oh my you God. gotta know him. He was all county. I'm like, listen, man, I don't I'm not know. not lying to I, you. Right. <laughs> like, but like, that happens way more, not anymore, because I do the hat and the earphones. And I just yeah, that's the weird wrestle. thing that people, we yeah, talk about this a lot, is like the perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, all county every year there's 15 new state champions Her, 15 no, 30, oh, 30 30 yeah. yeah there's 30 new state champions but that's like <laughs> an absurd number of people but that's at the top and it's way too many it's not the top but it's like that would be something where you maybe could say oh i remember that person right. but all county means you place at counties so there's six and there's times 15. Yeah, times 15 every year. I remember someone, the first time I ever heard that was with the breakdown of NCA wrestling. Mm. And someone was like, oh, is 
about a goal being to be an All-American or something. And I forgot who said it. And they're like, there's 80 All-Americans a year. Why do people make that their goal? It's not a big deal. Yeah. And I was like, but when I was in college, my college had never had an All-American before. It was like, it's impossible. I was like, I was like, everyone's goal or not people didn't even think of the goal it was impossible yeah. to be an all-american there but yeah. i remember my goal i was thinking i was like oh, i want to be an all-american yeah, but yeah. then i that my perspective though was local perspective mm-hmm. as your perspective gets bigger like that guy's perspective is well i was on the team this guy was sure. all league he's incredible yep right so if your perspective to be is to be an all-american then someone else is like an Olympic champion. Be like, There's 80 right. All-Americans every year. Yep. Why the That's... fuck would you brag about that? Why sure. would you make that your goal? Yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, there's 10 NCAA champions every year. Every That's not a, you know, year. in a four-year cycle, there's uh, That's how I feel about, 40. like, for being in the UFC. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, like, I don't know. I'm like, well, you could get in the UFC for one contract. Yes. So I was like, sure. I'm um, especially not if, you're a a, if you're a girl right. and you fight, get three wins, which isn't, if you're, it's super easy to be three and zero outside of the UFC. Yes. If you're not three and zero outside mm. of the UFC as a female, like pro MMA, sure. you're not good. You suck. Well, that's what I always that's say. I say the yeah. first contract. That's why I always say the first contract is Hobby. overpaid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You yes, know, agreed. But then the next ones, if you make it to the top ten or you make it, you know, mm-hmm. if you make it to the top ten in your weight class, then you're elite. In yeah. my opinion, for sure. But I agree you guys that. probably think like, well, if you're not the champ, well, that's what I think. Right. I think yeah. people are like, you're in the UFC. I'm like, yeah, whatever. No, right? Not in the UFC. I didn't like, you know what I mean. If I feel like if I'm yeah, not yeah. the champion, then I'm like a yeah. loser. Well, yeah, and I agree, sort of. Like, obviously, yeah, what you've done loser. is like insanely, insanely hard to do. But like when I and like I don't want to say this sounds like kind of fucked up, but like I don't really love telling people I'm ranked ten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's all for me. What the fuck, man? You're, you would fucking, I'd kill to be ranked. Right t- yeah, uh, I know, but like, ten, yeah, that means no. there's ten guys better than right. me. I, yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. Fuck, man. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. Uh, but that's why you guys are successful, and and I think that that's the first part of becoming successful is knowing the pers- having the perspective mm. of what success actually mm. is. It's crazy, man. People are like in the UFC, like even people that I've beaten before, and I know I see how they act, like at least on social media, who knows? And they like constantly are bragging about their fighting. And I'm like, wait, I mm. beat the shit out of you. And I'm like, and I'm like embarrassed. Like, yeah. I, I'm like, why are you so confident and cocky right. about like your fighting career? Right, I'm like, right. you schooled. Her. I've yeah. had people, I've had people like in like where like I've worked and stuff and I don't talk to anyone or, you know, I'm not Me social. Know. So people are, I've had a reputation of being like, oh, he's so cocky. He thinks he's better than everyone because he's a wrestler. Isn't that like if you knew me, be like, I am. I would never brag about my wrestling career. Never. Yeah. I'm like embarrassed of it. But people, Mm -hmm. if you're quiet, they assume that you're cocky or something. Don't mistake. No, shy, asshole, confusion, whatever you want to say. But like Mm -hmm. people be like, oh, he's so cocky. He thinks he's a wrestler. What the hell are you talking about? I would never. I I hate myself. Hold on. But you. I promise. I promise. I hate myself. Pause, though. (laughs) We, you will definitely agree with me. You do something specific, though. And this is what he does. We'll be at like, uh, someone. You're probably not going to surprise her. No, no, no. She knows. She knows. Like someone will be around who thinks they're good at wrestling, and like someone will be like, "Oh, I don't know anything about wrestling." Because uh, you like making them feel like, "Well, if someone doesn't know anything, he was way better than me. If I don't know anything, but if he doesn't, then what the fuck do I know?" Yeah. Yeah. You definitely do that. I do that purpose. with jujitsu a lot. Yeah, I, I suck at jujitsu. Not with wrestling, but he'll like fuck them up. Yeah, and like, yeah. I suck it because you. I do them. suck, but you also <laughs> love making them feel like they really suck. But if you like, don't no, like no, that, they don't understand. Like if. If someone thinks that I'm good, then they have a terrible it. perspective. Because like if Correct. I go against Gordon Ryan, yes, I suck. Right. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. That's, but no, that's I, why I do like saying that mm-hmm. in jiu-jitsu. Just so people could, you know, it's really kind of helping them. I, I agree with that. Right. But people take that <laughs> as hurt feelings. For sure. Yeah. I want to say. That, doesn't, you don't care. No. You're Because mm-hmm. you're like, you're helping them. To, so they I understand the levels them. of it. Who and cares? that's helpful for the people that are at the top level to be like, you have to explain to other people like, do you you have no idea how good these people are. Right. If you, if you think Very like, I, I think that I'm like, if you think like yeah. the worst quarterback in the NFL is so astronomically good that you can't wrap your head around Easy. it, but there's people who would criticize like, like, yeah, hold on. You know, there's a really good example. And like, you guys know, like I have talked about Jordan Titus a ton. And I really, I love the kid. He's mm. awesome. I love Jordan. I spent a ton of time with him and I think he will be really good. 
But like someone the other day was talking about, like it was a kid I trained. Now he's like, oh my God, he's so good. I was like, no, Jordan's good right now. He is not great. And they're like, well, what, what do you mean? And I think Jordan will be. Yeah. Well, I think Jordan he's will a be. Really good high school wrestler. Really good high school wrestler. And again, not bashing Jordan. I really love the kid. Mm. But like Jordan Titus took, and I definitely feel, I'm going to be like patting myself on the back right now, but like Jordan Titus took sixth at the Clarion Open. Yeah. If you're great out of high school, you're winning Vegas as yeah, a freshman, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I did. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, Yanni did. And like, yeah. I was that. Jordan Titus is not that yet. Yeah. You know, Jordan Titus is a really good high school wrestler, but people's perspective about things are Well, he so wouldn't strange. say that, though. He what? knows where he is. Jordan Titus, I, yeah, I agree. He that. wouldn't. Yes, you're right. He wouldn't. You know what I mean? If you yeah. are taking six at the mm-hmm. Clarion Open, you don't, by any stretch yes. of imagination, think you're good. Because if you thought you were good, you'd win it. Yeah, right. You, the big reason he didn't do well is because yeah. he probably doesn't think he's good enough yet. He's definitely better than that. Yeah, I really, when I was giving it was so weird, man. Like, I think you've heard this too, and you probably felt like this, and I'm sure you did at one point too, but like winning as like a freshman or like an eighth grader, like, oh, he's just an eighth grader. I never thought that was ever a disadvantage. Did you? Like as a freshman in college, I never thought like I shouldn't win because I'm a freshman. Not freshman, but I had like other reason, other doubts, but not. Well, yeah, I didn't think of age. age. Yeah, yeah, it was no. where you were. No, 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 I felt like that for fighting until you? like the last year. I kind of felt like, well, this person's been in the UFC longer than me. Really? There, really? I kind of thought like until I would say like until like the last two years, I didn't. I had a little bit of like. Well, they're stronger than me or that. Now I'm just like, I don't really care. No, like, I'm like, you're like, the I'm guy like, no, 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 no they're, guy, they're afraid so to go the against man. me. Like, yeah. but that didn't come until like the last like hmm. year and a half, two years. Yeah. Well, yeah and you've definitely where I've that. gotten like not, almost like, I don't want to say cocky, but like hmm. I was just the exact way is like my confidence went up. But before hmm. I'd always like not doubt myself with skills, but just be like, I think I always put other people like up a little hmm. bit higher than they are and maybe put put myself down a little bit. But now I'm like, Okay. No, I feel now, like, now like, you think yeah, you're I mean, the best. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think more so now crazy. than when you fought for the title. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Under. You're ten times more. I would say the last like year, my confidence yeah. went up like hmm. more, more in the last year it went up than from me as like my first pro fight to yeah to two years. I, ago. I think yeah. so too. Crazy, yeah. but it's not just with athletics too, though. It's like with like finance stuff too. Mm-hmm. Someone would be like, oh, "I got it. he's got a really good job. He makes a lot of money." And be like, compared to who? Yeah. Like what's a lot of money? Like yeah. that's a, like what like what's well, a lot of money? Cuz like no if right you answer. meet someone who is has a lot of money, then you're like, "All right, oh, I'm a loser." Yeah. Like that's yeah, yeah. that's a lot of money. No, yeah, it's not just an athletic that, that's yeah, for sure. But that's a big thing though cuz some sure. people might be like, "Oh, you're killing it or they're killing it." Like, well, compared to you. No, man. Well, no. Yeah. well again, it's perspective. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you know, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just on your own sure. opinion cuz some people you know, there are bad things about being like, I would say that's kind of being a perfectionist or just having high standards. Mm-hmm. I think that's a, what makes people successful, whether it's in business or in athletics, but it also can be like the negative side of that. It's like, oh, well, you're, you're never, never happy. happy. Yeah. You're, you know, yeah. you're always striving for more, but like, I don't know, I'm happy. And I think that's a good thing. Yeah. And not being happy with or settling with goals, I yeah. think is the fun part of yeah. like growing, whether it's business or you know, your relationships or athletics, yeah. you know. Well, and I also think that like, obviously your goal and my goal are the same to win the belt. Mm-hmm. And you definitely would just set a different goal if you would, you know, if you won the belt, mm-hmm. your goal would you would be like, all right, I've made it, I'm happy. Exactly. Something else would be, well, now I want to own what, I don't know. Yeah. Your goal would be, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, funny. Goal setting and perspective is, super, oh, I think it's the most interesting yeah, yeah. thing. I got to say this because I've been holding two things in. Uh, and I'm, I can't believe I remembered them. One, Matt Myers today, we were talking about the kid that loves your guys' podcast. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, he was talking about, he's like, we were talking about perspective. And he's like, yeah, even Serm said it on that one podcast. Th- they're talking about uh, the liver king or whatever. And he was like, yeah. he said, five people could take down, even the best guy in the world. There's someone oh, yeah. that would take them down. Oh, five guys. It would More take than them five. Down. The best yeah, guy was Matt Myers. More someone than five people that. could take down Kyle Snyder or have taken for him around. Sure. There's a guy that didn't place at the Worlds that will take of course. down Well, there's Kyle four Snyder. people in this room and all four of us could take down Liver King. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I mean? Facts. Now, the other thing too is like when you're talking about like looking at things, right? All county. Like, yeah, if someone's never placed in the county, like, oh my God, he's all county. And like, I look at like, Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler, like they were one time all Americans. They suck. Yeah. And then, like Jordan Burles would look at me like that. Yeah, yeah. Jordan yes. Burles would be like, 
I so mean, already at like, metal, to a normal like, yeah. person that all all those people you just mentioned are incredibly rare. are like they lump them into one but yes. really you're like certain things are so many they're so far apart in levels but levels like yeah 100%. but the, i've heard a lot of like olympic champions talk like that yeah. like someone who like be olympic bronze medalist or like a silver but he was yeah. pretty good he's like he never won, but he was definitely good. Mm-hmm. What, he never what's, won. Like I'm not gonna say. I've heard a lot of people like, say because definitely, you know, like there's the Kendall Cross story. Yeah, I've told that it? story. We've said it on yeah. here. You know that? Remember that story? Mm-hmm. He was at the Olympic Training Center and like, yeah, it's like, wait, who's told you to do that? Oh, Lou Roselli. What the fuck is he won? No, he yeah. never won. Did he say he never won anything? He's never like, won anything. We're talking about a guy who was in the he was like my childhood round. hero. Yeah, he was my coach, man. Yeah. He's like literally in the blood round, essentially. Of and the someone Olympics. just goes, ah, he never won anything. He's like, what? What is no, he? That's know? how. He that's how those anything. like real iconic wrestlers. Yeah. That's Correct. how they talk. Yeah. Like, oh, he was really good. I mean, he never came won, but short. he was like a silver medalist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he, came he, up ne- a little... he never won, dude. Terry Brands, I think it was Terry. One of the brands says he's like not medals, gold medals, and like they really think like that yeah, yeah. They do. like silver medals like throw them in the garbage yeah it's crazy yeah but for me it was like a big transferable thing like i always wanted to be like only champion or you know whatever mm. to hi- highest level but now it's transferred those exact things to my life where you're like i'm never ever satisfied sure. well and here's the only a- thing i'm satisfied with is caitlin you're, you're, every yeah, other thing in my life i for want sure. like, every single day i'm like fuck I got. I should be doing this. Yeah. This. This. I got to buy this. Do this. Sell that. Like, but that makes on. it seem like you're not like a happy person. You are. You're just never. Mm. Like I. The I idea just love like progress. Well, the yes. goalpost yeah. fucking moves, man. Yeah, that yeah. has to be the case. Or how like like the oh, happiest that, that I am is happen. when we like are in the middle of like a like a escrow big thing. Like yeah. yeah like hmm. okay, so this is one example I can definitely say that I remember very specifically. It was after your Hamptons house, and I don't know mm-hmm. one maybe another house. She's like. I make this much month on this one. And like, if I just have one more like this, <laughs> just one more, I'd be so happy. And this and was I like the never... day of closing. <laughs> it was like, not, I don't remember exactly what it was probably, like. No, probably like two days after closing. bought another one. Yeah, yeah. Are you happy? Are you going to get another one? Well, I'm happy, but. Like... No, are you going to get another one? Well, yeah. Of course. <laughs> he's like Monopoly. If he, he said two. Tech, but... If he had two, he'd be happy. I just want two. I just, no, once I get another one, just like this, if I had two of these, I'd make this much month and I'd just be okay. I would never have to do it. You're gonna get another one, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course. And I didn't expect you to stop it, like two or three, whatever. But I'm only friends with people who think like I Fuck am. Yeah. I can't be friends with someone who's like That's... like a av- mm-hmm. like That's average why thinking. That's why like you don't yeah. have very yeah. many friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's just Austin Gregor all the time. That's no. cool. That makes me feel <laughs> no, kind of no, good. No. That's flattering. No, but it's it's funny because like I always thought growing up, I'm like I was so focused on like fighting and just that, and I'm like. People are like, wow, you're so disciplined and so this. And I always kind of thought in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's great. I could be really good at fighting, but I'm like, I'm not really good at anything else. Like, the, this, I mean, I did good in school. Yeah. I went to college. It's not like that. But that to me, that's what everyone does. Yeah. But I always was kind of in the back of my head like, yeah, yeah I'll figure it out what I'm going to do after fighting. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. And then I think like when you get older, you kind of learn how to that personality the things you have that are so good at athletics if you're if you're an athlete you kind of realize like i'm starting to see now how my personality that was makes me good at fighting oh goes God. into everything else sure. and i couldn't picture uh, oh that God. i well no one could have explained that to you yes. when you're younger i think maybe now i could explain it to someone that's younger because it worked for me but that doesn't mean it's going to work for I, them. I remember sure. thinking i'd be like Oh fuck! What am I gonna do? I don't. I don't. Yeah, all yeah, I know yeah, is yeah, wrestling. Yeah. This and that. No, no, no. But when you have high standards, you won't let yourself. No. Yes, yeah. okay. average. But like this is exactly. I have like. I think I have the right wording here. What made you successful was not. I'm gonna make this up. Your jab and your footwork. Mm-hmm. What made you successful is the things you had to do to get good at your jab mm-hmm. and your footwork. And those things you can put towards anything. Yeah. The time you spend. Figuring out yeah, what you do. Yeah, just your planning. mindset. Right. Though, it's of, that, right. Your, the like, characteristics not, that made you good at yeah. wrestling. Your double leg was not why you were good. It was the things you had to do to make that double leg good. Yeah. yeah. Those you can take and put towards you know airbnb or yeah, yeah. rent whatever you or know? doing it like when no one's when no one's yes. there that's the biggest thing like yeah. like you guys probably were all like this growing up or even now with fighting like you're so obsessed with it that like every kid else is going to practice yes. and then when you go home you're like 
no, I'm doing my own yep. practice. Yeah. Whether it was like that was skill, those specific skills you were doing in your basement was helping mm. you, but just the mindset of being like, well, everyone did practice. Yeah. I can't just do that. But oh, like, of you know what I mean? And there was probably, there could have been kids at <clears throat> practice that didn't do anything at home that were better than you. But eventually, you know, like I would go to, you know, I would go to karate, but when I came home, I would like practice and do my own thing every right. single day in the vape. Not just like, oh, I'm playing karate at home. Yeah, like I took karate. it serious. Whether For it was sure. like, you know, I'm just a little kid, but I would like go in the basement and hit. And I had like, you know, put like a square on the punching bag, and I would do hit, my things. Yeah. Like I would do that by myself, like because I just thought it was like so cool and badass. Mm -hmm. and, and it was. And yeah, I mean, yeah. but that's the things that helped me. Like I don't need a coach or you know a team practice mm -hmm. to train right. i yeah, will do it sure. on my own every single morning yeah. no matter how i feel i could have like you know an injury where I pro everyone would say hey you shouldn't train i'm not saying this is good but i'm still gonna do my <laughs> right. workout so yeah, it doesn't matter it's monday i yeah. have to do it yo uh it's funny is like i don't know why i thought this but you're talking about like the base karate in the basement at mm -hmm. home and like karate. well no no it <laughs> yeah. sounds like it's fucking step yeah. brothers so yeah, I yeah. Karate that's literally like, what i was like, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. The basement, not the garage yeah. you know like uh it, i am going to talk about a garage and i'm like you know yanni's garage yeah yeah you know yanni is obviously mm -hmm. the wrestler yeah. Called, yeah the garage and i remember and i don't know if it was me or someone else but i know i had said at this point in time i know i'd said it to yanni and i'm sure other people had too but it was, I trained to be like 10 years old for right. a brief period of time. And I yeah, do yeah. not take this as me saying right. I had Yanni's success was not because of me. But in that garage, he, someone. He started doing made, tally marks, right? Someone told him to be a uh, professional or be like an expert hours. at something. You have to do 10,000 hours. He started putting tally marks on his wall. His whole wall he, covered Dude, he stopped at 10,000 though. I mean, oh, did he? he? stopped it. Yeah. I mean, he's way past that. Yeah. But it was in, the, not like anywhere but else. he counted the 10,000? Yeah, he's, you wow. see his wall, it's covered in fucking jelly. Imagine That's being cool. like that young and like having like that, that same type kind of, of insight. Like, you can't even comprehend, usually when no. you're that young, you can't even comprehend like a hundred. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's so, your mind at that at that age when you're like so young is mm -hmm. so small that you don't think past like right. the tournament on friday is yeah. like that's how yeah. far you can think well, you think like a 30 year old is like a grown up yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? or like 25 year olds are grown up right yeah. but uh no yanni uh it's incredible because to see how immersed he was at 10 years old and how yeah. much time you think of a kid like that when he's 20 he's gonna hate it and never do it again no he he's more that. obsessed now mm -hmm. than he's ever been it's wild yeah such a good kid too do we have any questions to answer? No. Nothing good? Nah, they were all like, people were being weird. Zane, you got anything for us? Isn't there like an asshole thing that am I the asshole? Oh, you can use my microphone. Am I the asshole or anything? Uh, I think we do have one for this week. Oh, I would ahead, also we'll say that. this. like, uh, I just got one more thing. If anyone out there hasn't tried the croissant crust de giorno pizzas, fucking bomb. Bomb. Yeah, you love it. I'm telling you, we that were talking about this last night. Stuff. No, it's not. We were talking about, we yeah. said there was like a really good frozen pizza. Yeah. And I was thinking, Amy's about, frozen pizza. So it's, it can't be, it's not half as good. I don't it's know. It's not man. half For as good. Frozen pizza, I can't good. imagine something better. No, I'm telling you right now, DiGiorno croissant crust. All right. Maybe they'll hear that and pick me up as what, a sponsored athlete. What do you got, Zane? Get a pee so bad. Ooh, this is, <laughs> this is kind of a long one. We can um, save it. You want to? Yeah. Yeah, we'll save it. Yeah, yeah. you can wrap it up. All right. All right, anything else, Gregor? No, that was so fun. No, that was good, right? We Sorry, were kind of like we all over the place We were today. teasing you uh, with the am I the asshole, but uh, to be honest, we have a pizza being delivered soon, so I'm kind of concerned I'm going to miss it. So. Oh, my God. Gregor has to pee. You got to pee. So Zane's been here all day. Well, so he's been here we all day because I was up. like an hour late. Yeah, um, it's all right. Thanks for listening. Sorry, Zane. Make sure you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Um, I really get happy when that number goes up. Please, it guys, it, you have no idea. Help Saying it makes him happy is an understatement. If we don't get it, I worry <clears throat> that how his week's going to go and how my week's going to go. So or I'll just stop doing the podcast. Yeah, he'll just no, stop. No, <laughs> I can't have that. You know, I wish you guys like. Also, like maybe uh, you could do like two episodes a week because by like Friday, I'm really hurting. <laughs> you know? Well, when there's um yeah, yeah. good fights, yeah. No, and I don't, I don't care about those oh, ones. Yeah, I yeah. want like just conversation. We, we're not <laughs> gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, but there's a good chance of a very exciting guest next week. Ooh. Another very another. Exciting. He's but not you're, a guest. You're no, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye guys.